Hi friends, in the last video we discussed about uh, the model analysis of a beam. In this video, we are going to discuss about uh, the harmonic analysis of the same cantilever beam by using ANSYS workbench. Open ANSYS workbench. So we have already performed the model analysis. So these are the different mode shape. See here you can able to see different mode shape and the corresponding frequency also you can able to see here. So here we are going to discuss about the harmonic analysis of the same beam. So open harmonic response. I am going to use the same model. So first update model analysis. then update the model in the harmonic response so double click on the model or you can edit here you can able to see the harmonic response there is some question mark so it means we need to define some settings so we need to define the range of frequency so our first natural frequency is 814.15 so for that I am going to get the response so I am going to select the maximum range as 1000 Hz solution interval it depends on you so I am going to define 100 intervals to get smooth plot since you can get the question mark so we need to define the boundary conditions so right click insert select the fixed support and select the face which we want to fix again you can get the question mark so we need to apply some load to perform the harmonic response so I am going to apply a load on edge so apply so here we can define the magnitude so by using components I am going to define the force so along y direction I am going to give the load so based on your requirement you can define so by assuming 500 Newton I am going to apply so now you can able to see there so now solve so our solution is ready so we need to plot the frequency response so there are so many options are there so I'm going to define the deformation so select the deformation so you may get here the geometric selection so I'm going to select the beam apply so along which direction you want to get the response so y direction so select y direction y axis then right click on the solution evaluate all results so this is the corresponding frequency response so since I defined 1000 
hertz as maximum range so therefore we know that our first natural frequency is 814.15 so in that uh, you can able to see one resonance so the corresponding amplitude is there if you want to zoom it you can zoom it you can zoom and uh, see the value of frequency see our first natural frequency is 814.15 so you may get the frequency and we can able to see the amplitude in terms of meter thank you